Now to a pair of pandemic updates. New clues from Northwestern researchers about how long COVID works with the brain. Yeah, and one week from today, Chicago Public Schools lifts its mask mandate. They will now be optional for students. That's where our Chris Ty kicks off for team coverage live at Mitchell Elementary. Chris, parents are split and the teachers union is angry. That's exactly right, Brad and Marie. Come Monday, when this sign comes down at Chicago Public Schools saying masks are still required and the district moves to a mask optional policy, the big three stakeholders in this school district have very different takes. The district says it's time. Parents coming back with a split decision and the union saying it's too much too soon. Uh, it's Sam Torn. Torn because Chris Gorowski's kindergartner has never seen her teacher's face. Monday, that could change. If this teacher decides that she's not going to wear a mask, I think we'll probably decide that our daughter is safe as well. With one week till rule change, masks remain on, signs remain up, and parents remain split. Well, I think it's a little bit too soon as being at school, as everybody is very, very close and united with one another. The district will continue to encourage masking by staff and students and continue voluntary on-site testing and contact tracing. But CPS says the data indicates it's time. Of all vaccine-eligible CPS children, 56% have received their first dose. 49% are fully vaccinated. 91% of staff are fully vaccinated. Part of last January's agreement that moved teachers from this car caravan protest back into the classroom as Omicron spiked was an agreement by CPS that masks would remain a fixture through the end of the school year. The teachers union calls today's reversal a clear violation of our January 12th, 2022 memorandum of agreement that they would immediately be filing an unfair labor practice and requesting that CPS bargain over this decision. The union says in the south and west sides, the vaccination numbers are well short of the averages cited and that it's putting those students in a particularly vulnerable position. I'm not ready for my children not to wear their mask yet. I think that the COVID is still existing and it's still around. This sign reading, please still wear a mask, will stay up. So how is it if the two sides, the teachers union and the district, had an agreement that said masks remain on through the school year, which obviously goes into the spring and summer. How can they make the change right now? Well, in a letter that the mayor wrote to the CTU president, Jesse Sharkey, that she tweeted just about an hour ago, she said, when that negotiation happened, the CPS and the CTU were listening to places like Illinois Department of Public Health and the CDC, who all recommended masks. Asking. They say their recommendations changed, and now the policy here needs to change as well. We'll continue to follow it. Live in Ukrainian Village, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Chris Ty, our thanks.